Good morning, good morning. It's uh, Friday, it's 4.30 a.m. Just made it to the gym. I started listening to this guy called A.L. Williams, Art Williams. He originally started up a company in order to be in direct competition with some of the biggest insurance companies in the world. He currently has a net worth of $1.5 billion. He's an ex-high school football coach from the South, poor. And I believe he even coined the slogan, just do it before Bo Jackson came out with it with Nike in the early 80s. He has a very straightforward approach. Just do it. You want to be the best? Okay, just do it. You gonna shatter records? Okay, just do it. You gonna lose that weight? All right, don't talk about it. Just do it. You want to be successful? Something some of your kids can be proud of. Just do it. My whole journey started very simple. I just wanted more. And every day I told myself I wanted more. Until one day, my other self asked myself, well, if you want more, why aren't you doing more? If you want more, why aren't you doing the work every day? If you want more, why are you giving a subpar effort? If you want more, what are other people who have more doing? Some people can hustle and go at it for 30 or 40 years until they get it. A lot of people can do it for one or two years. Everybody can stay excited for one, two, three, four months. So when my myself talks to myself and I say, I really want more and I have to answer back that I'm willing to do more or be a complete fraud. See, that's the problem. I just figured that I think a lot of people, they're frauds within themselves. See, you can fool everybody else, but inside of yourself, you know you're not doing everything you can. Oh, somebody forced that cheeseburger down your throat. And you wonder why your 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 work your workouts are completely fucking breaking down everything inside of you. Because you shoved that hamburger down your throat. Hmm. Oh. Oh. You couldn't find more energy because you have to eat like shit. Or maybe it's that you have bad time management so you can't make a proper and decent meal to make sure that you're eating right. You show up early for the club, but you're, you're, you're rushing to get your work done. Priorities are just fucked up. My grandmother would always say that you got to have empathy. And I do. I am empathetic at the fact 
that you would you would proclaim to want something so bad but yet have no clue that you're standing in your own way i am very empathetic of that because that is the equivalent of dropping a fucking sledgehammer on your toe I am very empathetic because for anybody to cause that much pain on themselves, something's got to be wrong. <laughs> something's got to be wrong. I started this journey on one push up. The more and more you deny that voice inside, the lower and lower and lower and lower it gets. See, it's already a very small voice. It's an instinctual thing that says, hey, we need to get in shape. So you need to move in that direction. Doesn't mean you have to cut out all your food. Doesn't mean you have to go to the gym every single day, power lift, eat protein shakes. And it, it, doesn't, it doesn't mean that you have to do that. It just means you have to make a step in that direction. But every time that voice is ignored, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. It's already this big. That's it. I'll give you something. I'll give you a parable that you can you can hold on to the size of a mustard seed. But the possibilities of that voice when it's listened to are bigger than an oak tree. But every time you listen, you ignore, you ignore, you ignore, you ignore. You eventually lose touch with that voice. And you start looking for all these outside external voices to start guiding you and directing you. And little do you know that those external voices, which are your friends, your family, people at school, 12 o'clock news, all these different things, these things have their own voice. So not only have you lost your voice, but you're being dictated by 27 other voices that have their own voice that is specifically designed for them. But yet you are adopting that voice as if it's yours and you wonder why you're confused and run around circles because you've lost touch of your voice. You've lost touch of what it is that was talking to you, your internal mechanism that is meant to keep you motivated and guided. The unique quality and factor like your fingerprints that make you unique is that voice and when you choose to ignore that voice because that voice is going to whip your ass into shape it gets smaller and smaller till you become so dependent on those external voices that you can't live without the news you can't live without asking somebody is this the right move for me you can't live without referring to every and anybody else that may or may not even have the right damn answer to make your decision. A.L. Williams started from a high school football coach of seven years, worth one point four. $1.6 billion. And it's not the fact that he's worth $1.6 billion. The fact is that he has a mentality of just do it. When am I going to be able to quit? Never. Just do it. Well, when am I going to be able to take a break? Never. I told my wife last night, I said, I said, here, let me give you some really exciting things about life. One is that that journey that you're on, it never quits. But here's the exciting thing about that journey. It continuously gets better. But you can't ever quit. You become a slave to yourself. But better me be a slave to myself than slave to somebody else. Because at least I get to call my shots. At least I get to dictate my day. At least I get to say how things are going to go. Versus being swayed by everything around me. You have a choice each and every day. What you're going to do. Make the right one. 
I'm out.